What I'm here for is to tell you what ha happened to me, but first I want to go into my past life with a little heart trouble in 2003. I knew I was in trouble. We were caregiving for her mom, and I was having pain, but she was taking care of her mom, getting her ready for bed. I was back there. He, I came in the living room, and he just told me, like, you know, I just ordered a pizza. He just said, I've called 911 and I'm having chest pain. The ambulance came, put me in it, took me to Korean emergency room, and they were great. I got to say this, they pounced on me like a duck on a June bug and diagnosed my problem. And I met with the doctors, where they all of them were super, the nurses, nurses aide, technicians, I don't know what I've done with that Korean. I've always been with Korean. And one of the Korean cardiologists come out to me and said, you've got a very sick husband. And I was just sinking inside because I was alone other than this kind nurse that was beside me. And so they immediately took him to surgery. Then the next morning, and I was thinking things were, you know, going to be okay. And Dr. Forrest was there, Dr. Sharma was there, uh, other cardiologists. They said there was nothing they could do, and he had three to four days to live. And I just sat down on the floor and put my head on the bed and just said, you got to do something. You can't just leave him, because to me, he looked like, you know, he wasn't doing badly. And Dr. Baker stepped up and said, I'll do it. I've got, I'll do something. Dr. Baker told my wife, I can't give you no promises. But he took it on himself, him and three other doctors, took me in, put patches. I had a hole, massive heart attack, put a hole in the bottom of my heart. Well, we've had a lot of heart issues with Ken. And it's this one, I didn't realize it was serious as this. It, it didn't take, the surgery didn't take five hours like you thought it would. Then, after all that was over, Ken did a, a long stint in ICU. We were, we had to have, he had to go back in. Um, that repair did not work. And that was when Dr. Forrest, and I mean, he researched it and he called around Europe everywhere. And he kept me very informed every morning and he found a, a device that they could put in him that had never been used before, membrane bite. And now I've been through re three rehabs and passed them with flying colors. So I'm, I'm still here, I'm lucky, and you're looking at a, a very happy face. He went from not being able to get out of bed, not to be able to turn, his, turn himself, not to eat, I'm having all kind of assistance. I mean, anything that his body needed, he was getting through an IV. That was what was keeping him alive. And the nurses were great. I had nurses come and they would sit and pray with us, talk to us. They, they, they became my support system. And if it wasn't for Korean and their staff, I probably wouldn't be here today talking and telling you about my experiences. So I appreciate them, I love them. I pray for them every night and I give them credit. And then the, everyone, I mean everyone, couldn't have been nicer. And now, after February 18th, I've got a second chance at life.